Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. And today we're going to take a look at using System File Checker built into Windows. Uh, you may have heard of it called as SFC Scan now. And just show you a little bit about how it works. It's actually very, very easy, but there's a couple of things. You can get to your Command Prompt or PowerShell, which we will need. And depending on how your computer is configured, I don't know. You're going to find Windows PowerShell here under the W under Start. And if you're 32-bit, you'll use x86. If you're not, you will right-click on this and select Run as Administrator. While it's not that hard to do, again, you might see Command Prompt. Go ahead and use that same thing. I like the Windows X key. Uh, in Windows 10, it brings up the Windows PowerShell Admin, and you just click on it. Click OK on the prompt. Now, let's take a quick stop here because Windows 10 and Windows 8 users may not be aware that since Scan Now can actually restore file, scan for them, and, and you know, anything is corrupted, you need to run DISM, which is the Microsoft Deployment Image Servicing and Management. So we're going to want to copy and paste this code here. You can either hit pause and write it down, or I'll link to the article in the video. And you'll press Enter. What this is going to do now is it's going to go to Windows Update, and it's going to download any files that might be needed to fix corruptions which you don't have yet. So if you have had problems with this and you're using Windows 10 and Windows 8 and it's not working properly for you, it's because you've skipped this step or nobody told you about this step. I'm surprised a lot of people didn't know about it, So, which is understandable, of course. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait while this is downloading the tools we need for scan now. And I'm going to hit pause and come back when it gets closer to 90%. And there we go, 100%. So we'll give this a second till you get to this prompt right here. And this is the part you probably have already been told about and most people are very familiar with as far as command line switches go. And that would be, I don't know if I got that in there or not, SFC space forward slash one word scan now, lowercase is fine, and hit enter. It will now begin to scan your system. And as just like it said, it could take a while. Now I'm on a virtual machine. I've only got a uh, 60 meg set aside, so this could probably go pretty fast for me. So don't be surprised when you're watching yours and it's going really, really slow. So what this is going to do is going to scan, look for any corrupted files, replace them where possible, and then it's going to spit out four different possible results. And just for killing time, I will go over those four results while we wait for this. So number one will be Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. So there's no problem there. So if you're looking for a problem, it's not a corrupted file. Windows Resource Protection could not perform the requested operation. That means you need to run it from safe mode. So do start, shut down, tap or hold the F8 key. When you get into safe mode, repeat all the steps that we've shown you and run it from safe mode. Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and sex bleh, successfully repaired them. Problems were found and fixed. That There's a page Microsoft has, uh, once again it's in the article, to view details of what it could have fixed and what the problem might have been if you care. And finally, as far as I know, the only other one is Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files was unable to fix some of them. This probably means, depending on what it is, uninstalling a program, reinstalling a program, or a much, much more difficult level would be to restore files from your installation CD. Basically, as you can see, we're still at 15%. And as I said, I believe we got 60, 60 megs set aside. Take a look here. Oh, gigs. Yeah, Meg's like, I'm going to be able to install Windows. I know you're probably already yelling at me two minutes ago. You can't fit Windows in 60 megs. Hey, what are you going to do? All right, 60 gigs. So odds are really, really good that you have a larger than 60 gig drive. So as you can see, this is not too bad. We're a couple minutes in. We're 20%, but you can expect an hour or maybe more depending on your drive size. So once again, we're just going to stop and show you how it ends and uh, let you go. Hang on. And as you can see, we are almost done. And this is a great time to remind you that I froze at 19%. If you Google, you will find, if you type in scan now froze, you'll see they freeze at almost every percentage known to man. It took about 10 minutes. I let it sit 
as I mentioned it's a very fast computer and a very small drive so if you freeze walk away for 10 or 15 minutes and see if it goes past now as I mentioned there are four error messages you can expect and this was the first one that I told you about that there's no problems so there's also a log file it's a little more complicated to go into than I want to in this video it's in the article below in the description and if you don't find any errors and you think you have a problem you can still use that log to try and determine where what let's say Windows scan now couldn't fix for example it is a little more complicated would we'll be here for a while explaining it to you but it's hidden away in the Windows log CBS CBS dot log file it's a little big a little complicated but really those four error messages that I mentioned should tell you where you're at whether you need to go to system restore replace your hard drive so on and so forth so but for the purposes of this video we just want to show you how it works and make sure that you know about using DISM for Windows 10 and 8 users otherwise this is all for nothing and that's about it once again we thank you for watching take a second to subscribe and hopefully we'll see you next time